Hello, this is Christian. I'm going to talk about splashes in Cinema 4D 2023. So I've got Plane here in Cinema 4D and it's got an XP Collider tag on it. Next thing is to <coughs> go to Cydium, X Particles, XP Emitter. And then go to emission. Uh, don't want it to emit all frames. And full lifespan. Birth rate, change that to 1800. Speed to 80. And I uh, also might want to change it so it's uh, Y plus. Uh, moving slowly. And I need a uh, Uh, XP gravity uh, and also XP fluid effects go. Sorry I'm shaking a bit <clears throat> Then I need to uh, bring in XP Splash. And um, so just have a look at what, what's happening. I think I need to bring this emitter up a little bit. Just a little bit. And again, powerful splashes. So I'm going to click on it. And uh, swap radius is right. Handle. Handle number. I could change that to 12. Strength to say sixty three. Try it again. Not too bad. Then I uh, pull in XP shooter. And uh, so need to change max density fifty. And change up four hundred to five hundred. Play again. Then <clears throat> get a open VDB meshel. And um, 
pour the emitter into the tag. Now I've got some liquid here. Change the point radius to 1.5. Now it's looking like a nice splash already at the moment. Try voxel size, maybe bring it down to two. No, it's better at four. Try five. Oh, four will do for now. And uh, yeah, so that's that will obviously animate. Uh, I'm not sure how to sort of bring it down. Too much could do a um, splash, take the strength down a bit. And then, uh, yeah, that will create liquid type splashes. Could obviously get material, put it on the open VDB measure and uh, color the liquid for you. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So far I've tried to do a splash as well as a cam. Thank you for watching. Thank you, bye.